Hi everybody, this is James again with the Python Bot Development Team and we are putting together another video in our series of tutorials uh, that we've been releasing here over the last few weeks. A lot of the videos online can be found on YouTube on uh, various channels for support members with Python Bot. Um, however, we've also put together a tutorial video page on PythonBot.com itself that you can check out and see uh, lots of important videos uh, to teach you how to use uh, Python Bot um, the mo in the most effective uh, ways to boost your own sales, SEO, and traffic to your websites. So. I've already pre-scraped um, a list from one keyword. You'll see here I received 743 pages that were found with the one keyword. Um, and what I want to show you in this video is how you can scrape or acquire social media account details for the websites that you're contacting without actually contacting the websites. Uh, many people may just want to acquire the data without actually using uh, the message feature uh, to contact on the contact forms. And so uh, what you'll acquire is uh, the Facebook social media uh, uh, user ID URLs, the LinkedIn user ID URLs, the Twitter ID user URLs. Uh, uh, URLs as well as phone numbers uh, for the website pages that you um, go through as well as email addresses that are associated with the websites. Uh, a lot of people um, may just want the data like for example with Facebook you can take the user ID URLs for very targeted advertising campaigns within Facebook, uh, LinkedIn, uh, various marketing methods to use that as well for recruiting purposes or just marketing yourself for connections. Um, phone numbers obvious build queue call list with this thing for anybody running call centers or outbound sales calls. Uh, email um, data obviously hugely important. Everybody wants emails. Emails are huge when it comes to marketing companies whether it's just internet marketing or providing a service. Uh, you can get those details uh, to, to build your email list. So once you already have uh, the web pages found, uh, whether you've done this by through a keyword scrape using Pygon Bot or if you already have a site list put together um, and you've already went through the process of identifying uh, potential pages uh, that we can post to, uh, what, you, what you'll want to do is you'll want to empty out all of the information fields over here. And what that is going to do is going to make sure that the posting uh, is unsuccessful. So it's not going to actually post to the sites. But while it's on the sites, uh, it is going to acquire the data that we're looking for. So it's really simple. Um, I'm pretty much ready to go here. Once you already have that, uh, those pages found, um, you can click to start posting. You can choose how many threads that you want to use. Um, for this demonstration, I'm just going to use 10. Uh, it's going to be fairly quick out of uh, 743 sites here. So, and it's now starting the process. You'll see it's, it's very fast as far as once it goes to the site, collecting the data that exists. If the data doesn't exist on the site, obviously it's not going to pull that data over for you. Um, let's just sit back here and, and, and watch this go here for a minute. Now obviously when you saw the multi threading option pop pop up to choose how many threads you want to run, you can choose up to 20. It'll be two times faster than this. I, I chose 10 threads. So um, you'll notice that it is unsuccessful on every post posting. That's because we have no data over here to actually post. So when it's attempting, it's going to throw an error on the website and not allow the post. But it's collecting the social media emails and in a phone number uh, data that you have. You'll notice that the websites that are being collected are collecting the data in their respective places. And once this process is completed uh, as far as running, um, you'll 
noticed a complete report here. Uh, what this does is it ties all of this data together. So if you wanted all of this data so you know which website, the Facebook, the LinkedIn, the Twitter, the phone number, or the email address belongs to, um, you're going to want to uh, generate a full complete report that will come out in Excel, which will have the website listed along with all the data that belongs to the website in its own unique column. So that's pretty much it as far as knowing how to collect social media information using Pygum bots without actually using the poster to post uh, contact form messages. Uh, lots of people use this feature for various marketing um, purposes of their own. Uh, again, if you have any questions or need support, you can always contact Pygombot support at webmaster at pygombot.com or you can also fill out our support um, ticket module on our website at pygombot.com.